Now that we have seen all the tools of engineering drawing, it's time to understand the drawing techniques. Let's start with drawing scales. Drawing scales allow us to draw any object to the required size on the paper. For subjects, for example a mobile phone, the drawing of the prototype can be drawn to the same size as the original, that is 1 as to 1 on the drawing paper. Such drawings are known as full size drawings. However, generally the prototype is either too large, for example the Eiffel Tower, or too small, for example a micro scale motor, and we will have to scale down or scale up the dimensions of the prototype in order to represent it on the drawing paper. The representative factor RF is the ratio of drawing dimension to the actual dimension of the object. If RF is greater than 1, then the drawing is enlarged. And if it is less than 1, then the drawing is a reduced view of the same object. So we are all set to move on for preparing our drawing paper. We have to put together layout on a paper including margin, border and other entities. The engineering drawings may also contain letter used for dimensioning, writing instructions, notes, titles, labels, etc. The term used for engineering drawing text is lettering. Next element is line. Lines are the predominant and the fundamental drawing element in every drawing. Various types of lines are used to represent different entities like visible lines are used for drawing outlines of visible edges and surface lines which represent the objects. These are drawn in bold, dark and continuous lines. Hidden lines are shown with medium thick lines consisting of short dashes and are used to represent invisible edges and surface boundaries. Center lines are thin lines drawn with alternate long dashes and dots and are used for representing symmetrical objects. Then there are dimension lines, extension lines and cutting plane lines. Well, now it's time to give exact dimension points. Dimensioning plays a very important role while drawing. There are many types of dimensioning such as horizontal dimensioning, vertical dimensioning, aligned dimensioning, chain or continuous dimensioning, parallel dimensioning, diameter dimensioning for circles, radius dimensioning for arcs, angular dimensioning for angles. And that's it. So with this we have covered all necessary fundamentals of engineering drawing and graphics. Feel free to rewind and revise as you need and of course have